Welcome back to another video of the LED hacks. So today here I have a TI-82 calculator and I'm so sorry for the terrible audio because I don't have any microphone but I can speak and you can hear me because the terrible camera that you see on I believe a bright corner take a look in OBS again yeah it should be like that so I just experimenting using uh, OBS so switch scene okay, you can see how terrible it is uh, the camera sometimes is it's not good I'm not sure yeah reactivate them again yeah should get clearly focus okay so um i'm recording so this is a ti82 calculator i got this for about 11 bucks include not including shipping but yeah just calculator but something pretty cool about this is you have oops sorry so you have a graph pl plotting and here you have let's try to render it again yeah um let's zoom is out hmm, some box running on so this is an elliptic curve uh, plotting, just math. But this is not the topic of this video, so I really want the link cable. By you know, plug into this hole. This is a 2.5 millimeter jack socket. It's not like a normal headphone jack that uses a 3.5. So. I actually need to order it from eBay, AliExpress, but fortunately that I found one, so it's fit perfectly. Yeah, it's fit perfectly, but I need to build a circuit, and I actually have one. I, I actually have one, so I might uh, open this window, the OBS, because. I'm not sure what will happen next. Switch the scene. So it's somewhere in my ego. This one. Oh, <laughs> the wrong file is is on my laptop here. Then yeah, my yoga book. Maybe show you later in the next video. But let's take a look at this. I actually design a board. This is a EL mod project to put the EL lamp, a backlight for this display, but this is for another video. So today I'm going to show you someone actually made a, a compatible, it's called a TI uh, Grappling or some kind of programmer that we can use to connect between the calculator and the computer. You need special software for for the DIY cable but this one is lightly con converting serial protocol into some sort of protocol that mesh with mesh feel like my pitch is went wrong with this microphone and never mind so I feel like it's used a uh, serial communication because someone actually designed the RS-232 or serial port to uh, this TI-Link cable but it requires no no it's not, not required spatial software but it has uh, something called parallel link that use a printer port that require a CPU hard work and spatial software today I'm going to show you two software one is a T T I L P I think. So I might move the window to about this region because here on my screen having some crack on it and white strip across the screen. I can 
see anything. So about the emergency report, blah 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 blah. So here this is the program itself. So get to change the device. This is where to select the device. And this I'm using an Arduino board with some of the code that someone made is and put on the GitHub. I will put the link down below so you can make your own and to, to I already plugged to my computer. So let's try to plug this in. So I have plug the link cable. So my calculator not freeze. Pretty good. Let's take a look uh, closer. Yeah, it's not freeze. It's just everything just work fine. Let's try to render the graph. Okay. Yeah, it's work, it's work, it's work. Okay, so on the software side, you need to select a port. This only limit to the COM port one to the COM port four. Pretty limit, but you can change in you know device manager. Blah blah blah. You go to port COM. You know, select port setting as when you have the port COM COM port number. So just select this and select calculator the TI-82 and just click OK what? sorry something is went wrong I think so I try to unplug again ok might have some bit of problem let's try the screenshot no 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 technical error One thing to mention, if you want to build one your own, you need to put some calculator. Oops, ah, my ears, my fault, sorry. So you need to put a capacitor between the ground and reset pin, so it keep the Arduino stay alive and not reset itself when we try to program the our thing. So it should work now. Yeah. You see my screen, we're gonna go to grab screen. Let's go to full screen. Yeah. I don't know why they I can zoom but I can export but not for this time. So here we go. This uh so I actually try to load something on it, so let's try to receive no 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 try to send a file. So Let's go to my, uh, somewhere here. Okay, so it's here in. Hey, I actually tried to install a Windows 10X. Did not work yet. So uh, let's have some the Cube 3D and then and use this. But let's try so to load things in just a bit okay you can see in my calculator this is not the zoom this is a default um view viewing angle of the camera pretty soft so I press the second and you can see here is blinking and when it's closer uh, yeah it's not blinking but oops so here it's blinking. Um, the arrow up means you press the second button, and you then you press the link. Yeah. So you have ascending. You can back up the calculator things, send in the program or receive it. So today I'm gonna, not today, tonight. Gonna send this file. Yeah. Open. Gonna take a look. Oh, time out. So sorry for that. I need to uh, go send a, and receive. Right now we in the receive function. We're gonna press enter to receive the thing and let's try again. Yeah, it received. You can switch the same. Sorry. 
yeah you have a cube I have a cube 3d so to run the program second mode to quit to, to quit you know quit and go to the program this is executing the program uh, menus use up down to move the cursor we have my own program my own program for randoming number and from someone that I download from tiCalc.org see oh I, I left something in my uh, plotting no no it's not good to stop this second and on button to break operation and quit so clear 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 let's go here just clear just clear this off so go to grab nothing because it's changed the format thing so oops just press clear I need to turn the call the grid uh, off the turn the call and on and just zoom standard okay we are back to normal so this is pretty good calculator actually doing some of my own program like this random just random number yeah something weird about them when you turn this off press the second and on it's turned off and then turn it on again the program still remain the last one that I execute and there's, there's no way to stop that as far as I know because I'm not dig deep into the manual so this is just some look around at my first ever my personally owned calculator yeah just want to show you another thing is you can edit the code and you can basically coding on the calculator and this is very very good yeah yeah I, I did forgot to show you another thing on my computer so I actually ins installed the software called DOS box basically it's just DOS emulator here we go so I just announced the folder dots in my C drive to C drive for the dots box. Yep, and then you go to C drive. Then list, list the thing. I'm not sure how to list list list. Um, I don't. I'm not familiar with dots. I'm more likely with Linux. Uh, terminal command stuff. So let's see the windows and we run win yeah window 3.1 pretty old so i actually installed the ti grab link software we have here's a pretty old software running on a 16-bit computer so this is whole thing i actually have some of the code oh yeah um somewhere uh, uh, sorry yeah this is my own code making a sum and uh, calculation stuff so let me show you example on my calculator here we go the program to execute this one so just put some random number yeah it's do everything it's just switch Sorry for not switch moving. Let's try again. Let's try to execute them again. So we have like 5, 9, 4, 10, 7, 8, 6, 9. Yeah, we have summation and percentage. Mm, it's not a percentage calculation, it's time with the 0.75 maybe some up ratio so okay just quiz clear, clear so move back to here 
um, TI-82 uh, grappling program that have a lot of version that may specifically for each calculator like TI-85, TI-83, 83 plus TI-84 but none of this can be downloaded in this day because it's pretty old and obsolete they may have some of the grappling for a newer generation calculator but it's not support the older like this one and it's used different protocol so uh, Texas Instruments made a, quite a lot I think start with the seal no no the gray link is used a 25 pin and or 9 pin connector from Mac user and Windows user and use this uh, grappling uh, program on the computer to load stuff or do things coding in they call TI basics just like a basic language in the terms of TI and then they have a black link pretty similar but only works on window that a black link you can build them is called a four dollar link four bucks and I actually made some PCB so I put the link down below to my github so you can maybe build one your own I actually want to build one my own, but I get this gray, gray link uh, clone, not the clone, the replica, the modern one working, so I don't need to make one my own. Then we have the later, uh, silver link is just USB and only work with a newer generation of TI calculator, not the old one like these. So, it's also very rare and expensive on the eBay, so I don't want to go for that far because it's you know expensive shipping, import taxes. No, it's it's not good for me. So okay, let's take a look closer on on the software. Just to turn off my calculator. Don't waste the battery. So here we have two sub window. We have the button so you can take a look here when you want to code they have a lot of function like in the math function so the on the screen the uh, compared to on the calculator I need to press the second button so on the math is having a menu for them but on PC you can see all of them so when you have no idea when you want to use a random where is the random function so you can use on a PC the GUI is make you see every uh, sub menu in the menu like a math or taste so here we have take a look on the switch to comparison so here this math menu so we have this uh, this command so we have four of these sub menu you need to uh, navigate through to get to the actual command that you want to use but if you're on PC you have everything whole math function you sub menu in the same windows so this is easier to use a computer because you can you can type it in and it's way convenient than we typing on the calculator because it's labeled from A to Z use uh, alphabet orders not like QWERTY or some kind of that which is pretty weird but I try to get mm, get to that but maybe gonna take a while so I think they still have a lot of feature that I'm not expert to and use yet so let's see what what you can do with this one yeah you have a lot of function already you have uh, group ungroup something and not 
use it. I'm not uh, go for that for right now. Here you have get LCD. We have print large. Let's try. Why is cannot open? Oh. Oh no 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 no. It says serial opening complete could not be opened. Why? Why? Okay, try to demonstrate this to you. Let's open up again. Ah, it could not be opened. So maybe it helps some conflicts because I actually use at uh, COM3 but something override it and I need to override it back can okay, maybe some solution is to unblock and buy it again okay, take over this Which seems is not working. See when I unplug? Yeah, unplug that. Yep. Whoa. It's freeze. And when I plug it in again, it's back to life. Which is pretty weird. Let's try to get this up again. Opening COM3. Yeah, I think this time it works. So, yeah, Windows 3.1. Okay, let's take a look. It should work now. Oh, we need to select COM port. I forgot to do that. Oh, it's select right because in reality, on Windows, uh, on my host OS, the COM3 is linked to COM1 in case OS, which is in this case is DOSBOB. So let's try to print the screen. Yep. Yep. Press receive to get. Yep. Let's try to plot some graphs. So, so here we have the elliptic curve. We go with the square root of x power uh, x cube plus three x plus. Uh, I think it's good for five. And another equation is going to be the negative of the first one. So, oops. Square root x cubed plus 3x plus 5. So let's plot the graph. Graph. Plot the graph. Oh, something is went wrong. There's something I did forget. Forgot is the bracket so use a second insert to insert it yeah for some reason this is pretty cool calculator very mm, Pat Parker called it crate so I watch his um, calculator review and I really want to send the TI-82 to him but I'm risking of him breaking his down bracket so let's try to go to the link, the link and print screen. Yep, here we go. So see here, this FCD safe compared to the. Yep, pretty much the same. So this is some of the cool feature can do with a calculator that obsolete so let's just see the back side just unplug the link cable gonna close the DOS box so you can see
see. Here we go. Just like that. And so this calculator, if I were right, um, is released in 1993 or 92 or 95. I'm not sure, but about that, around that, and they have three revision. The first one they use. Uh, TI-82 label, orange color, and the corner, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, the bezel around the screen is not the same color as the, the, uh, the casing, it's more black, and this is a middle between old revision and the new revision, it have white uh, color, TI-82, and the bezel is the same color as the case and the last uh, version which is I think obsolete in 2001 the last one that they produced having entirely design entirely different they have a round corner about here but this almost they have a round edge uh, rectangle so if I take a look at mine this is a second hand because I have someone carved a name on here I don't know how to read that but I didn't read but also carving <laughs> a delete hex on the calculator and secretly on the battery uh, what to call the battery battery bunker door hey I put my name on it and I have some battery this is uh, the battery, like your CMOS battery in a motherboard. It supports CR1616 and CR1620, 16, but right now I am waiting them to ship. Maybe they arrive soon, but I just use a little battery, the 1216, I, I believe, put in them and just works. And this is two four triple A battery. So talk about this one. This one I believe that made in 1998 because they have some carving on the back side. This cover here. I, I'm not sure that you can see. It. Uh, let's focus. Is okay. Uh, oh no no no. What wrong? Sorry for the noise. So, yeah, 1998 happened. So, maybe on the next video, I'm gonna do this tear down on YouTube. I've been made a separate video. One is a tear down, and another one is tear down, but I put the uh, backlight into this display because I really need the backlight so <sighs> very late night want to go to sleep so thank you guys for, for watching these poor quality videos so I may be improving make it better 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 maybe gonna filming with my mobile phone here at 4K maybe I can scale down and zooming but the hybrid abstract layer driver is sucks on uh, Selfish or Linux so maybe some improvement later but again thanks for watching this video goodbye have a good night